Well, folks, welcome to Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine this week. Listen, I tell you what, special guest, you bet. We've got a whole bunch of them, but the best one is Gary Mason with Legend of the Outdoors. He is a collegiate bass fishing coach down at Bethel University. I tell you what, Gary, I want to thank you and welcome you to our show this week. Where are we? Okay, well, I mean, I, I've done <laughs> duck hunting all my life, but nothing like the Taj Mahal. Right, well, we're here with Billy Blakely out of Blue Bank Resort, and we're on Real Foot Lake, one of my favorite places in the whole world. You know, God created this lake in 1811, 1812 through a series of earthquakes that occurred here uh, on the New Madrid Fault. And uh, it just, this is one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been. I love waterfowl hunting here, I love fishing here. And it's a very special occasion when you get to come to Blue Bank Resort and stay and then get to duck hunt with Billy Blakely. Well, it is. And I tell you what, folks, here, Hornbeak, Tennessee, Real Foot Lake, Blue Bank Resort. Um, we've got some great destinations this week on our Chevrolet feature. And so I tell you what, ducks are going to be flying. Gary, I can't wait. Man, me too. Hey, listen, you get first shot. How's that? Oh, uh, there you go. All right, man. Stay tuned when we come back. More right here from Real Foot Lake, Tennessee. This week's destination is brought to you by Chevrolet. Chevrolet, finding new roads in the outdoors. Today's Chevrolet destination features another great hunting destination that you can find more information about by going to Bob's Top 16 at www.bobredfern.com. And be sure to check out all the award-winning Chevrolet vehicles at Chevrolet.com for your next outdoor destination. There we go. Woohoo! That's the deal. Yes, sir. All right. Awesome. Jason, you watching them crystals on you? <laughs> Folks, I tell you what, right down here in Hornbeak, Tennessee, Real Foot Lake, duck hunting, this is awesome. I've hunted all my life. I've never hunted in a place like this. What are you thinking, Billy? Billy? Huh, Bo? Oh. Billy Blakely, man, he's our head guide this morning. Mm hmm We got BJ, Jason Craig, we got Sue, the yellow lamb. No, sir, it don't, Gary. And none other than the legend himself, Gary Mason, on my left over there. I tell you what, these this is this is if you haven't duck hunted like this, you need to come down here and hunt with Billy Blakely and all the crowd down here at Real Foot Lake. Woo. Woo! Nicely done! Nicely done, folks! Well done, well done guys. Man, what a good volley in there. Get him, 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 get him. Woo! Oh! Woo! Mm. Well done, folks. Team Mossberg on my left. Oh my goodness. Folks, I tell you what. Listen, I have duck hunted all my life, but never have I ever hunted in a place like this. Real foot, <laughs> Billy Blakely and all the guys here, it, it just, it's just, it's an awesome place. I mean, th from the layout of this blind to the way it's its just situated here, you can see all of these duck decoys out here. I mean, it's, it's, it's duck Disneyland. Look at all those automated, and, and that really makes it a landing zone for all these ducks. 
And, and I tell you what, with Sue out there retrieving, I gotta be honest with you, Team Mossberg on my left, <laughs> it don't get no better than that, I'm telling you. Billy, you done good, brother. Thank you, what a Yeah, man. <laughs> Well, folks, listen, we're taking a break in the action here down on Real Foot Lake, and I tell you what, it's just a, a pleasure and, a, and one of those trips that is a lifetime right down here. I had never hunted this way. Uh, I've duck hunted all my life, but Billy Blakely and all the folks down here at Blue Bank Resort have been so gracious to have us down and doing a show here. But I tell you what, Billy, now, we were down here fishing with you, okay? We we're getting them brim, and you, you do it all, but I tell you what, you're just like Paul. <laughs> you, you year round. I mean, duck hunting <clears throat> is your passion, I know it is. Yes, sir. I mean, as you've seen inside the blind, we take it to extreme. You go out here for 60 days, you gotta be warm, you gotta be comfortable, room to get up, walk around in, get in the back back there, relax a while, get on one of the couches, and just take it easy if ducks ain't flying like they slow down for a little while a day, get back there and relax, cook a good lunch. We even got a little satellite TV in there, and man, we have a big old time. Well, you know, and one of the great things is you can put 14 folk inside this yes, blind. Sir. And I mean, it's just, I, I've never hunted that way before, okay? And I mean, it's a big sea for comfort. Cause, yeah. And I I, 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 I I, can do it too, I mean, at 60 days. I mean, that, that is just, that is off the charts. Yes, sir. That right there, that's home for 60 days straight, so it's got to be comfortable. Well, I have to talk about uh, Sue. She's a year old. You just got her. Yes, you sir. trained her yourself. I mean, what a beautiful looking lab. Yes, sir. She's she going to make a good pup. She's doing real well so far. Well, look, now how many folk will you run through here? And I know, folks, you can log on to Bob's Top 16 and, and log on to, to Billy uh, right down here at Blue Bank Resort. If you want to duck hunt, just log on, get a book. Uh, trip booked and, and then you want to fish with him, you can do that too. But you, you guys uh, start the season down here when? We start the first week of December and go to the end of January. And, and wall to wall every day? Every day. My goodness. Right. Tell me about a little bit about the enormity of, of the lake down here, okay? Because this is one of the best kept secrets in Tennessee. Well, this lake, as you can see back through there, it's got a lot of cypress in it, a lot of old wood. It was created by an earthquake back in 1812. And it's just an old fishing and hunting lake. No water skiing, no pleasure boating, just hunting and fishing. And that's all it's good for, and that's the way we like it. Well, Bo, I tell you what, I got to thank you, man, for having us down, Billy, and, and all of your guys. I mean, you got Jason Craig and BJ and all the guys that come down and help you. And it's just it's just a pleasure. Right, we got to go fix up some of these ducks down here. Yeah, we got to do the work after right. enjoying it. <laughs> all right, brother, let's do it. Coming up, we talk to Gary Mason, bass fishing coach at Bethel College in Tennessee about the sport of college bass fishing and its continuing popularity. It's time again for the Palmetto Sportsman's Classic, South Carolina's largest hunting, fishing, and outdoor expo being held at the South Carolina State Fairgrounds in Columbia, March 24th through the 26th. There'll be something for the entire family, exhibits, contests, hundreds of outdoor products, and of course, lots of great food. Be sure to go to psclassic.com for more information. I'll be looking to see you and the entire family at this year's Palmetto Sportsman's Classic at the South Carolina State Fairgrounds. Understand the fish. Design the bait. No, redesign it. Trim this. Add that. Definitely more of that. Perfect. Will they smash it? <laughs> Smashing it and holding it. That's how we do it. That's the formulas. Tweak the colors. Make it sing. Make it dance. Optimize design for that lateral line. All with a single track mind for getting hit, staying bit, ripping lips for making any fish your fish. That's our science. Berkeley science, baby. Nestled in the western part of South Carolina is the old 96 district. Comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick counties, this region is rich in history, fishing, hunting, and small town flavor. Old 96 District is part of the South Carolina freshwater coast, covering over 2,000 miles of shoreline, which offer many fishing opportunities and is home to the only wild turkey museum in the world. Local businesses offer a wide variety of unique gifts and foods. Make sure you discover the undiscovered wonders of the Old 96 District of South Carolina. 
Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you by these great partners. Chevrolet, find new roads with Chevrolet. By Lake Hartwell Country. The land by the blue wall. By the South Carolina Agriculture Department. It's a matter of taste. By the old 96th District of South Carolina. Come discover the unexpected wonders of South Carolina's 96th District. And by South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing your one stop for all your company's promotional needs. Well, folks, joining me now here in a break in the action here in this wonderful duck blind here in Real Foot Lake, Tennessee, is none other than Gary Mason. He's our host down here. He had us on this duck hunt. Just a wonderful place to be, and I tell you what. You know, Gary, you know, the last time we were down here back in the summer, you had us down. We do a little brim fishing with you and Billy. Um, duck hunting's great, okay, but I want to talk really specifically about the mentorship that you provide because folks what you don't know is or you may is Gary is a bass fishing coach at the college level at Bethel University in McKenzie Tennessee and I tell you what started it you started the collegiate series and so what has that meant to you and what do you think that's done to all the youngsters that you've touched well actually I started the first scholarship program in America for the sport of bass fishing on the college level as you said but uh, there was already college bass fishing, just there wasn't any coaches and there wasn't any actual teams. It was all club sports uh, from each school that participated. And there was only about 100 schools participating at the time. Now there's over a thousand colleges or schools that have some form of bass fishing program, either a coach program with scholarships following in my footsteps or a college that has club sports still today. But you know, to get to spend time and share time with these great young men uh, some of the things that I'm the proudest of is I've got eight young men fishing on the professional level. I've got four young men that's graduated my program that's inside the industry that's working as a liaison or a salesperson inside the industry. So several of the young people that have graduated our program are still working in the outdoors industry today and others are coming up behind them. You know, it's just been great. Well, you know, I, I tell you, the reflection of your career has what has been the pinnacle of it? Has it been teaching and coaching and mentoring these youngsters? Or has it just been a compilation of all of it? I think it's been a compilation of all of it. You know, you start out in a career, and I started out at 22 years old as a professional hunting and fishing guide, and uh, I, I didn't have a trade, so to speak. So I worked for 16 and a half years making Kitty Lear and Tidy Cat. And uh, at a company that uh, Mr. Ed Lowe had owned, uh, Edward Lowe's Industries, there at home, uh, one of his plants was at my hometown of Paris, Tennessee. But in 1991, they closed the doors to our facility, and everybody else, unfortunately, went to the unemployment line. I got to go hunting and fishing, and that's what I've done all my life. But I have spent years and years trying to give back to others for what I've received uh, in my career. Uh, I have enjoyed a huge expansion of of a lot of different things that I have learned to do. Uh, I'm a level two sporting clays instructor. I've been a dog trainer, retriever trainer since I was 25 years old. Uh, duck and goose caller, waterfowl hunter, pheasant hunter, and college bass fishing coach. And I didn't set out to do any of these things. It's just the Lord provided a way for me to do them and give me the ideas. You know, the legend of the outdoors, which we talked about last time you were here, uh, was an idea that, that God gave me. You know, I, I'm just an old country boy and that grew up in a four-room house with a coal stove and a bathroom 100 yards out back. So I didn't have any inclination on, on creating something of that magnitude, but, uh, but the good Lord seen, seen it in his heart to give me that idea and, and to keep me on track uh, on, on all this stuff that I do. But I've been truly blessed in my career. Well, Gary, God bless you. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for making us a part of what you do down here at Real Foot Lake and, and for the great state of Tennessee, because I tell you, without you, I don't know where they'd be. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, listen, thank you so very much, Bob, for coming. You're always welcome at any event that I host. And 
Uh, it's always a pleasure to have you. I appreciate what you've done with your TV show and what you've done in helping others too. I know we walked a lot of the same pathways, so thank you for having me. I've really enjoyed having you. Next, we head to the sportsman's table for another great South Carolina certified recipe. To all the Chevy Silverado owners out there, the adventurers, and the doers, thank you for making Chevy Silverado the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all Silverado 1500 pickups and get $1,000 cash allowance on this Silverado with a turbo high output engine. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Take a journey off the beaten path to Lake Hartwell Country. Tucked away in the northeast corner of South Carolina, Lake Hartwell Country is a hidden gem with waterfalls, mountains, beautiful lakes, and history dating back to Revolutionary War times. For the outdoor enthusiasts, Lake Hartwell Country offers fishing, hiking, water recreation, horseback riding, and so much more. Come visit Lake Hartwell Country, the land by the blue wall. The stumps and rocks. The grass flats and potholes. The points, humps, and drop-offs. Creek beds and old road beds. Hold it all in your hands and fish. Welcome to Upcountry South Carolina. Discover the six counties in Upcountry South Carolina that run from metropolitan cities with fine dining and cultural events to pristine natural beauty and all the adventure that goes with it. From hiking, rafting, to some of the best fishing in the Southeast. Six counties, one state, a million opportunities. Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or coming to vacation, make sure you're purchasing South Carolina grown farm products. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Folks, we're here this week on the beautiful campus of Ori Georgetown Tech at the International Culinary Institute of Myrtle Beach. And joining me and my guest chef today is Brittany Lee from Lee's Farmer's Market just down the road here in Myrtle's Inlet. And Brittany, thank, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. Glad welcome. to be here. Well, listen, I tell you what, we've had Ed here. I mean, you know, we've been down to the market, but now you're that beautiful side, okay? <laughs> And I am really anticipating this dish today. What do you got for us? So we're going to do a crispy southern duck, and it's going to be a crispy duck breast with some local collards and kale, and then sweet potato and parsnip puree. Oh, wow. So what's first? So I'm going to get the collards going first. Okay. So to do that, it's going to be 50% uh, kale, 50% collards. I got you. Get some oil going. Need a little more heat. I'll help you uh, there. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Get a nice sizzle on there. So I'm going to put a little bit of garlic, shallots, and lemon juice in here. Okay. Only for about like 30 seconds because gotcha. it's going to take a minute for these to cook as well. I got you. So 30 seconds, and then I'm going to start dropping in the collards and the kale mix. Now when you do this, you want to make sure that you cut out those really thick stems, otherwise they're going to be like really tough. I got you. Um, and you want these to be tender and flavorful. Well, everybody loves kale and collards. Of I mean, course, yeah. especially mm. here. And these uh, collards actually come from a lady right down the road from Lee's Farmer's Market, and she oh, really? brings them in in these big, uh, you know, trash bags. So they're oh, as gosh. local as you can get. As fresh, yeah. Um, I've got a little bit of salt, pepper, and nutmeg, just a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna just saute those up. And you see, you want to keep it nice and green, so it's not gonna take long for them to actually like saute and wilt down. I got you. Um, but you do want them to be, you know, cooked all the way. Sure. Okay, we got the collards and all the greenery going. Now what? So now we have our local duck breast, and you know, duck season just ended, so yeah. this is perfect timing. So what I did is I scored the fat in a crisscross fashion, okay. and I'm gonna do just salt for this. Uh, we really want it to be nice and crispy. So you're looking for medium rare or medium, right. um, depending on preference. I got you. All right, and then we're gonna drop it in nice hot pan. See how it's already smoking? Oh yeah. Oh, wow. And then I'm going to do just a little bit of salt on the bottom, but not as much as okay. I was doing so you're on gonna, the top. 
top it down first, fat side down. Yep, you're okay. going to render this fat down. Uh, you don't want it to be you know, too thick and you don't want it to be burnt, but we do want it to be okay. crispy. Awesome. Um, I usually do about like five, six minutes on this side, flip it, and then we'll throw it in the oven to oh, finish wow. it off. Oh, great. So we're just looking for a nice crispy skin. And the cool thing about duck is, I mean, you can really do anything with it. Uh, it's very versatile. You can do something fruit, fruity, sweet, um, or savory. So we're kind of doing that with the collards and the sweet potato parsnips. Uh, it's going to be a little bit sweet and savory all together. All right, Brittany, let me get it out of the oven. All mm -hmm. right. I hear it quacking. Mm. Now well, we, we had go. it in there for about um, about six, seven minutes. Okay. Um, so, like I said, you're going for more of like a medium rare, medium, nice crispy skin. Gotcha. So we're going to cut it on an angle, or bias is the actual term for that. Oh, wow. We're going to have nice fan. It's going to look really pretty, mm -hmm. and then it's also going to uh, be really appealing, you know, because of odd numbers. So oh, wow. we've got a nice little fan going. There's our duck. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Man, it cooks up nice, too. Yeah. And then we've got our collards right here. This is collards, kale nutmeg, a little bit of salt, pepper, mm -hmm. and shallots and lemon juice. Oh, nice. I'll tell you what, I'll set it right down there so you can finish. How Sounds about that? Sounds good. Right. And we're going for a little bit of height, you know. Yeah. And then we've got lots of color going on here as well. Mm. So here's the orange. Now this is parsnips, uh, South Carolina red jewel sweet potatoes, oh, thyme, goodness. rosemary, a little bit of butter, and cream. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. Mm. And you know, the, all this stuff all coordinates the colors. I mean, it's so pretty. Yeah, it's supposed to, you know, be appealing to the eye. Yeah, so when the folks bring it out and you're getting ready to eat, it looks great. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And they all, like I said, pair well. You can do anything with duck. You can make it sweet. You can make it savory. Um, I kind of try to make everything go together. A little bit of nutmeg here, a little bit of nutmeg here where it's sweet with the herbs. And then you also have that roasted flavor there as well. There you go. Well, Brittany, I tell you what, thank you so much for being thank a guest you. this yeah, week. Thank great. you. We really appreciate it. And folks, I tell you what, Lee's Farmer's Market right down in Myrtle's Inlet. I tell you what, buy South Carolina. Nothing's finer, nothing's fresher. Log on to certifiedse.com and see what's fresh on the menu. We'll be right back here again next week on another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on supporting local South Carolina farmers and their products, visit CertifiedSC.com. It's a matter of taste. It's time again for the Palmetto Sportsman's Classic, South Carolina's largest hunting, fishing, and outdoor expo being held at the South Carolina State Fairgrounds in Columbia, March 24 through the 26th. There'll be something for the entire family, exhibits, contests, hundreds of outdoor products, and of course, lots of great food. Be sure to go to psclassic.com for more information. I'll be looking to see you and the entire family at this year's Palmetto Sportsman's Classic at the South Carolina State Fairgrounds. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional Southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking, offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. To all the Chevy Silverado owners out there, the adventurers, and the doers, thank you for making Chevy Silverado the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all Silverado 1500 pickups and get $1,000 cash allowance on this Silverado with a turbo high output engine. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. 
Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these great partners. By the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, making life better in the outdoors of South Carolina. By Abu Garcia, fish to win with Abu Garcia. By Upcountry South Carolina, Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. By Southern Woods Plantation, offering the best quail hunting in the Southeast. And by Santee Cooper Country, Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. Well, folks, welcome back to the show. Our duck hunt's all done for the day. We're back at Blue Bank Resort, and I'm joined by a special guest here. She is the marketing and media relations for Mossberg. It's Miss Linda Powell. Linda, it's a pleasure. I tell you what, we had a great shoot today. We did. Great morning hunt. And you all handled one of these new I tell you what, this Mossberg 940 Pro is yep. a great looking shotgun. Tell all the folks out there how you guys, well, you did with it. I think we'll show them on the show today, but tell them about this shotgun. Exactly. So people may be familiar with our 930, which is our semi-auto that we had out, um, shot by a couple of competitive shooters that you may know, Jerry and Lena Mitchellett. And uh, they came to us and said, here's some things we think that you can do to improve the 930. So they actually sat down with our engineers and helped go over some design features. And the result is this new 940 Pro. Well, I tell you, some of the great, I mean, I love the color, I love the spacers. I mean, you got high-vis sights. I yep. mean, and, and y'all were handling them like pros today in the duck blind. You know, a couple of things that I personally love, the new gas operating system, if you're not a fan of maintenance, uh, we'll say this gun will run up to 1,500 rounds without cleaning. All the internal features also have special coatings on them. It's a self-draining stock aluminum springs, so all the features that a duck hunter is looking for. That I love because I hate cleaning guns. But and more importantly, I think, is the adjustability here. Absolutely. Because you and I are not going to have the same length of pull. So this actually has spacers in it where we can shorten it down to 13 inches up to 14 and a quarter. You can also adjust it for drop and cast. So you can personally fit this gun to you, which will definitely improve your shooting. And what length of barrels? 28 inch barrel. Okay. Barrel and, and receiver both have Cerakote finish on it too. So if you're talking about a really durable gun, here's the complete package right here. There you go. Well, Miss Linda, it is a pleasure to have you. It was great to have, I tell you what, women in the outdoors, we, we can't say enough because again, I know you love it, okay? I do. <laughs> and for all of us guys who love to go and our wives let us go, okay? Right. It's all because of folks <laughs> like you. But thank you so much for, for showing us this new 940 Pro, because I tell you what, and folks, listen, you want to log on, tell them how they can get a Mossberg Pro sure, shotgun. Sure, go check it out at Mossberg.com. Well, folks, listen, that's our show from beautiful Blue Bank Resort down here in Hornbeak, Tennessee. I tell you what, duck hunting at its finest. Log on to Bob's Top 16. You will find Billy Blakely and all the guys down here at this resort who will put you on ducks. Or you want to come fishing, come on down. Some of the best crappie and the best bluegill fishing you'll find, I'm telling you, west and east of the Mississippi River, right down here in the beautiful state of Tennessee. As I always say each and every week, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours too. We'll see you right back here again next week on another episode of Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine.